Okay. Today I will go through my coil gun in detail. So I wanted to do this video from long time but I couldn't. So today I got a chance and I will go through my coil gun in detail. So let's start with the coil gun itself. As you can see it is four stages and the copper wire is 1.2 millimeters thick and each coil is about 30 millimeters in length same as the length of the projectile and it's about five layers uh, of coil for all, all of the coils are identical and these are the capacitors capacitors total capacitance uh, is I think around 7000 microfarad below 7000 microfarad I will put that in description mm. and the charger is it's ZVS a simple Mazili flyback driven ZVS power converter so whole of this setup is powered by these two uh, lipo batteries giving around 31 volts and yeah the charger circuit so the, the charger circuit contains a ZVS driver here and these are the IGBTs they can handle around like 2000 watts pulsed so these IGBTs the name of these IGBTs or the part number I'll put it in description and this Arduino is uh, helping me in you know triggering these stages here so below this Arduino I have optocouplers uh, to isolate the gates of the SCR the SCRs the charge diodes the snubbing circuits are all mounted and embedded on this capacitor bank here you go it's the SCR this is the charge resistor this is very very much important the, resi the resistance is around I think 15 ohm here and this is the reverse biased uh, diode that is in reverse to the anti parallel to the capacitor with a resistor that is very much important you know I, I, I am really thankful to Clay Reed to letting me know about that that is really important without this resistor you know a lot of current flows through this thing even though the capacitor has fully discharged and that would you know suck back the projectile instead of you know letting it accelerate it so I have that snubbing circuit for all these stages embedded on the capacitor bank itself to make it compact and for ZVS I wanted to tell one thing the inductor what you see in the circuit that is really important you need to have a li little bit high inductance like like around 470 micro henry and if you don't have so much high inductance you know these uh, IGBTs will really um, it will burn out so that, that that inductor is there to limit the surge current or the transient uh, high current when, when, when the states are transient uh, you know are switching on and off so the transformer is just a flyback transformer from old cathode ray TV um, it contains uh, I think 300 layers of copper wire at, at secondary and uh, and 14 layers 14 uh, number of turns at the primary 
both the SCRs, sorry, IGPT is mounted on same heatsink, make it compact. And here is the optocoupler, only single stage optocoupler. And the SCR, I'm using 70 TPS 12 SCR, which can handle 1300 amps, which is really enough for this coil gun actually i don't need a large scr in a array that's it uh, and the on the in the charging circuit i have an op amp and a relay and a voltage divider resistor here uh, to monitor the voltage across the capacitor capacitor bank so when the voltage across the capacitor is above the desired value this op amp has a commit trigger that op amp will turn on this relay and that relay will in turn switch off the supply to the gate in the cbs driver and it would turn off the igpts it would turn off the charging charging circuit at the end and I'll get a light here. Hmm. Fast recovery diodes for high frequency operation. And that's it. So let me shoot and see. Okay. I will shoot it now. Charging. And I'll shoot it again. Shooting again. Just to catch the pulse on the SCR. So this is the pulse. And it says, one minute, it says zero point four seven six millisecond total pulse length. And and when we when I put that in e in the equation, so when I put that in the calculator, I'll get so much uh, speed sixty three meter per second, and this twenty eight point eight eight uh, millimeter is the length of the projectile, and this is the pulse which I got out of the oscilloscope and. We need to subtract the fall time of the pulse. So the fall time is 20 microsecond. So I am getting 63 meter per second. Muscle velocity. So how to find out the time pulses? So I've, I didn't find out by LC time constant. So what I did is I just connected first channel of the oscilloscope to the SCR's gate of the first stage. So, and the next second channel, I, I had a opto uh, optical sensor here, gate sensor in right here. So, when I fired the projectile, I would get the time taken by a projectile to move from this point to this point. So that time I fed to the Arduino. The same thing for second stage. Hook up the uh, channel 1 to the gate terminal of the SCR and next a opto coupler or the opto sensor here, gate sensor here. You will get the time pulse or the time 
taken by the projectile to move from this point to this point. So the, this is t, t minus t1. You will get this time. So that time you need to feed it in the Arduino code. So the code also I will show you now. So this is the code. Just a simple if else loop. If else uh, statement, sorry, not a loop. So for first stage, I had so much microseconds delay for the second stage, for the third stage. I got so much you know timing this is the time pulse from for the bullet to go from first stage to the breach of the second stage and so on like this this is the code which I wrote that else part is really important or else it would latch on to the high state here right here all these pins would latch on to the high state if I don't have that else part. So this is the code. And here is the circuit for voltage monitoring thing. It is really stable actually, really stable voltage monitoring circuit. So this is the schematic trigger, basically schematic trigger. And here for the reference voltage, I would have a 1 is to 100 is to 1 attenuator I think a attenuator is nothing but a voltage divider so this is the circuit for that thing just a voltage divider circuit with and uh, that divided or attenuated voltage would be fed to this terminal of the op-amp basically it is just a op-amp with really really high positive feedback and these are all the calculations for the resistances here and that's it Thank you for watching.